What is going on, everybody? Super Yankee for Life here once again. You're going to be watching a 52 and 9, 66 kill confirmed on that raid. I'm going to be using the sexy MTAR with Ghost, Hardline, Toughness, and Dexterity. This may be my, one of my new favorite perk setups in the game. Um, basically, all my you know perks, attachments, well, I just told you guys the perks, so whatever, but. Um, <coughs> All that info will be in the, in the description. Um, instead, what I want to talk about today is just some of my favorite things of Black Ops 2, like my wep like the weapons, um, maps, stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Favorite weapons in the game, by far, the PDW and the MTAR. Um, the MTAR, I just like the fact that it's like, it's, it's a carbine of the TAR-21 from Marvel for 2. So, you know, it's a lot more lighter, more compact. So it it works on a map like this. It works well for a map, you know, um, for close quarters engagements. Uh, I don't know if you noticed this, but I have the laser sight on there. And this is one of the more better... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's a lot... It's, it's one of the better hip-firing assault rifles when I get shot around the corner or through a wall. Everything in this game is made out of paper. That's what it seems. To, that's what it seems like to me. Everything's made. Out, everything in this game is made out of paper, and it's so easy to wall bang people um, to get killed. So it's um, interesting how it works out like that. But anyway, this gun is very um, light, compact. Um, the size of it, it's like you know, very small. So you know, it, it works on a map like this. I, I would give it. A, I would give it a shot um, for a map like this. But uh, the other one is the PDW. PDW is just reminds me so much of the P90. Uh, now, 50 round clip, hip fire for days, um, laser sight, long barrel, fast mags. You know, any any attachment set up for it will work nice. And here, right here, I should have I should have followed I should have followed back more, but I didn't, and, and I paid the price for it. Uh, that, that's the downside to not having a secondary pistol with you. You know, the, the, the Pig-10 system in this game I like, absolutely. And you see right here, counter UAV is up. I don't know where they're going to be spawning at. I'm looking around. I'm scared out of my mind. And they actually have an orbital VSAT. And, and I'm thinking to myself, who in the right mind fed them the streaks to get orbital VSAT? And it just... Uh, um, dumped on me, or they, they got from a care package, I don't know, guy, guy goes, guy goes to dolphin dive for a tag, and I just take him out right there, and the MTAR right, and I get my shit pushed in by a Remington, but, um, this MTAR, like I said before, it, I, I said the AA-94 was my favorite assault rifle in the game, um, well, I would like to tr change my opinion, change my, um, change my stance on that. I think the MTAR, I love it. It's it's very versatile. Um, you can put any attachments on it and it'll work just fine. Uh, iron sights, they're okay. If you, if you learn how to use the iron sights well, you'll do fine with them. Um, you, know, you, you can use a reticle if you want to. Uh, you know, at first I, I thought it was necessary, but now I don't really need it. See here, I grabbed a tag. Wait for them to come out. Boom. And speaking of boom, died to Bouncy Betty's. <laughs> oh, boy, Bouncy Betty's. Why? I, Claymore's in Black Ops 1 were more popular in Mario Warfare 2, but I don't know what it is about this game that makes people want to use Bouncy Betty's and not Claymore's. Oh, boy. I don't know. It's uh, That's the COD community for you. They'll, they'll, they'll use different stuff. I guess, whatever, but, uh, some of my favorite maps, let's talk about the maps for a second, um, definitely some of the, my favorite maps in the game is this one, Raid, absolutely love it, um, close quarters, engagements with some long lines of sight, I mean, it's not, it's not, you know, long line, the, the lines of sight in this game are, on this map are not bad, so it, it's manageable, uh, Slums is another one, uh, you know, some long lines of sight, but not nothing too uh, 
egregious. And I almost turn on this guy with the shotgun. I came so close. Uh, oh, well. And the other one is standoff. Standoff is becoming... I think it's sniped there. Standoff is becoming my favorite map to snipe on. Um, assault rifles and sniper rifles work well on that map. Um, if you use an SMG on that map, you have some serious balls. I gotta say... You, have, you would have some serious balls to use a sni uh, SMG on that map, and, and a shotgun, too. Or just run around with a pistol. Which, I don't know why people would do that. I mean, unless you're one of the best pistol users in the game, um, I would not advise that, and I get taken out there. Um, I, I thought about leaving this lobby, because my teammates were just absolute trash, but we do end up coming back in this game, and I take out this guy right here. I was camping a little bit because my teammates were just trash. And I confirm this kill, deny this one, and I end up picking up, I, th I think I do end up picking up this guy's Scar H, a diamond Scar H with no attachments, and I think this is where things start to really turn the tide in our favor as far as the match goes. I get a sexy two-piece with a Scar H, I said before the Scar Age, I'm not a big a fan as I, as I thought I was uh, initially with the with the with with the gun. Can't even speak now, but uh, I mean I think this gun will work well with medium range engagements with, with medium range maps, uh, much like this one. So um, you just gotta have to control the recoil. You can't you know just hold down the trigger, spray and pray, and like other like other guns. But if you fire a few rounds and then let the recoil you know, let the red, uh, iron sights uh, settle before you fire again. I think this could be a nice gun, the Scar H can. Um, just got to get, get used to weapons. You know, you can't just put down a... You, you can't just use a gun for a couple matches and say, oh, this gun rocks or this gun sucks. You really have to put in the time um, with each gun and, and see, okay, you know, this gun, I can use... I can see myself either using a prestige token on to, for future uh, prestiges down the road, or um, using this, you know, to rent to my to prestige a weapon. I've already prestiged uh, the MTAR, uh, I've already prestiged the MSMC, PTW, MP7. Uh, have not prestige any prestige any of the shotguns because I just don't feel that they are necessary for for my personal play style. Um, if you're a shotgun user, that's fine. I mean, you probably have all of them diamond and prestiged and looking cool and whatnot. I I just can't feel. I just am not comfortable using a shotgun in this game, even with uh, a quote unquote noob shotgun like the Remington. Okay, a nice nice two piece with the MTAR. I mean, I love I love this gun. So good. And it works well with the dexterity perk as well. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so the gameplay, I believe, is winding down a little bit here. There's about a minute and a half left. Get a two-piece with a 100 killer drone. Yeah. Uh, sure. One second. Hey, Matthew, uh, qu quick question. Do, how do you feel about the MTAR? Great. It's, it's a great gun? It's great. It's great. Just great, just great. That's my that's my little brother Matthew. PDW. Oh, he yeah. yeah I, I was just talking about the PDW. It's a it's a nice gun. It, it was actually you who recommended long barrel laser sight, right? Yes. Yeah. So. Are you beast with it? Yes, of course I'm beast with it. So the gameplay is just about over. Final score is 185. We come back to win and we don't look back. Uh, final score is 52 and 9 with 21 confirms and 4 denies. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Super Geeky for Life, signing off. Wait, uh, peace. I'm just saying that, that score is peace. Okay. <laughs> so long, everybody. <laughs>